Okay, we've looked at the basic body shape in video 8 and in 9 we're going to look at the interior parts. So remember, the vehicle can fit on but we're better off fitting all the parts inside first before we do that. So let's take another colour. Now you've got to think about colours. Some colours go together, others don't. So think about that before you start. And think about the way in which the colour scheme of a vehicle you know about um, might be. So you might know what that colour scheme is and want to repeat it. So here we go, look. So these strips need to be cut so that they can create the interior. Well, a great way to do this, look, is Simply do it in, a th in thirds. If we were to cut the strip in half, then the bits are rather too big to be made into things to fit in. So let's go for, shall we go for a third? So what's a third? Let's have a look. Let's say there and there. So you're just using your judgment. Let's go for a third. There it is. So now with that little strip there, what we could do is this. Fold in half. Crease it firmly, open it out, fold it in half again, and again. So try and get it nice and even. So it's like fold in half, open out the check, fold it back over, then fold it in half again. So obviously when we open it out now, it's like dividing it into four parts. So what on earth could this be? Well, we actually only need three parts for this. Don't cut one off though. Get a piece of tape ready. Stick it on like that, look. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna fold that round, tuck it into itself and create a 3D shape. I think you should know what that 3D shape's called. So that's our triangular prism. And you think, well, why? In it? I've never seen a car with a triangular prism in it. But you probably have seen a similar shape. You see, that's going to be the front of the car where the driving wheel is. And then the seats are going to be in front of that. Well, behind it, if that's the front of the car, the seats are going to be there. There, 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 there. Looks like we've made a people carrier here. And that's the dashboard some people would call it the console and now you could design onto it i wonder if we should have while it was flat drawn on all of the parts of the console well these days everybody's got all manner of control buttons haven't they all manner of control buttons so you might have your headlights you might have the, the stalk switches for the um wipers um, if you were James Bond and his James Bond car, that one would be the ejector seat. You know, you'd, a dream of some ideas for what it could be. All the cars these days have got some sort of a sat-nav screen in them. The screens seem to be getting bigger and bigger, and of course they're touch screens. So what you might want to do is create your own, re own little sort of map. Right. And then... On your map, show where you are. So we're trying to make all of the features in the vehicle just as you would have in a normal car. But maybe just sort of take it a bit further and try and introduce features of your own and then sort of tell people what the features are. What would you like to see in a car? What would a car of the future do? all those things i mean what's this a toast rack so have a think about it what would you like there's a great big dial there look on that one and then a whole series of things so i don't know what on earth that does but use your imagination there we go so have a thing so when you're ready to fit that in once you've completed it Roll over the tape again, do the double-sided thing, stick it underneath, like that. Position it at the front of the vehicle. Finger inside, depress it, and then there it is. 
there's our little sign there. Now we don't have a steering wheel, but let's think about that later. Let's go for uh, some seats. So let's go for seats. Again, it's a third of the length of one long strip. So that's two thirds that are left. We've used a third. Let's cut this one in half and that'll make the other two thirds. So this would make two sets of seats. You might want to change the colour, of course. So how do you do it? Well, it's you start the same as for the triangular prism. Fold in half. Oops, pick it up. Fold over again, so you're going to get that sort of four parts um, created in the the final folded out version. So you've folded that out to create four separate parts, just like just like with the um, triangular prism. But what we're going to do now is fold it again the opposite way, so at right angles to it, just the once. So it did have one, two, three, four separate parts to it, and now we've folded it again crossways, if you like, and now it's got two, four, six, eight parts. So each of these parts can fold. I want to do two little scissor cuts, so I'll mark them in pen. You don't have to mark them in pen, but there they are. And what we want to do now is cut just that line there, just that line there, and then we want to fold up to create the seat shape. See if you just did that, it doesn't look very good, and it doesn't have any structure to it. But if we fold it like this, and fold the ends in, then it's made a better structure for a seat. And it's about the right width to fit in the car as well. Um, I don't like the box shape of it, so maybe we could alter that later. And what, what about the sticky tape? Well, try and be very sparing about the tape, otherwise it does look awful. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the edge like that and underneath. And most of that won't be seen. Similarly with that one, fold it. This can be the bottom part. We could use clear cellar tape rub it there when you use masking tape always try and rub the tape because um it gets air stuck under it and uh, it sticks better if you rub all that air out so now let's change the shape of the seat we could just take a very simple triangle look at like that and that immediately improves it seats are usually separate aren't they so you've got a, a driver and a passenger so why not put a little v in there just to indicate that that's the gap in between the two so there are all sorts of things that you can do seats making them look three-dimensional is ideal oh, by the way we need all the people who are going to sit in here and have you thought who your vehicle is designed for vehicles are for people how many people are going to go into uh, uh, going to use your vehicle how many people well, you've got driver and passenger so far in this one, driver and passenger. There's easily room for another bank of seats or massive storage. So maybe this could be a sort of people carrier where you've got the option to have a set of seats there, a big space at the back or another set of seats. And what about the dog? So what you do is do some sort of a partition where maybe the dog or you know, behind a barrier or some description could be kept. What about a sunroof? What about um, wing mirrors? What about a personalised number plate front and back? What about the headlights? There are so many extra things and of course at the end of it all it needs to be attached on to the um, chassis. Don't press hard when you're putting the tape on the chassis and they're going to look fantastic by the time you've finished. Can't wait to see what your vehicles look like.